my other option is to go back the way I came all the way to f these So one thing I need to be very careful with is not losing my bearings. Because once I get in there, once I get really deep in there, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So I also have to be careful not to step on a snake and cut by one of these sharp rocks. Ah, yeah. If you get bit by a snake out here, then ooh, it's game over. Those are rock hyraxes, like the ones in Hell's Gate. It's a territorial call. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on them. It seems these hyraxes have quite sharp ears. I think they heard me coming and then they just kept quiet. So now I can't find them. I've decided to take a seat because it's just getting so hot. It's about noon and this lava field is like an oven because you got the sun hitting you from above and you got all this black rock absorbing all that heat. So it's like walking on an oven almost. And it's probably gonna get even hotter. There's not a single cloud in the sky. Okay, this is where the hyraxes live. And I can tell, because I can see hyrax dung under these rocks. So hyraxes are somewhere here. As far as the baboons are concerned, they are nowhere to be seen. I think I'm gonna get out of here simply because nothing is happening and it's just so thick and progress in here is so slow and there's no sign of baboons anywhere so I have two choices the first choice get back to the path and continue going down in that direction towards the east and look for this troop of baboons in that direction my other option is to go back the way I came all the way to f these Ay, ay, ay. African killer bees. There's a swarm just flew over. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, where was I? Yeah. <sighs> wow. So I've got one of two choices. Either I continue looking for the baboons once I get back to the path in that direction, or I go back the way I came, go up a very steep gully, try to intercept the very first troop of baboons that we ran into. Uh, that'll be very much off path, very much high on those rocky escarpments. Uh, yeah. Boy, is it hot. 
I just stopped. Take a little break in the shade. Ah. Baboons. I just heard the baboons. I heard them bark somewhere up on those cliffs. So that's exactly where we're headed. The bark, when a baboon barks, it's a territorial display. It's the big males that do it. It sounds something like a whoa, whoa, whoa. It's almost a challenge to the males. It's a, it's a challenge because you're speaking their language. So if you do make that sound, in close proximity to baboons, better be ready for a fight. They've got big teeth, bigger than a lion's, the male's front teeth, huge, huge fangs. Uh, if you've ever, you know, you can Google it, picture of a baboon yawning. Got massive teeth, uh, pretty incredible creatures, very intelligent, very sharp eyes. I am, man. I just love. I love getting close to these guys, it's just that this is a troop that they don't know me, they don't know who I am, I haven't built any trust to them, so I really do wonder how close I can get before they either run away or attack. So, I mean, first of all, I hope I can even get near to where they are, because by the looks of it, they're somewhere up there, and that's a long, long, long way away. Okay, so by the looks of things, I'm gonna head up uh, this way, see how high I can get. To be honest, at this point, I highly doubt that I'll get any good shots of those baboons simply because they're just so, what can I say, shy. They, you know, they don't want humans anywhere near them. I think the relationship between baboons and humans here is quite, it's quite primitive. They view us as predators and as big, strong primates that can use weapons, so. They tend to run away from the people around here. I think they're not fed as much as they would be in tourist areas where international tourists usually feed them. And therefore those baboons usually become quite confident, especially the big ones, and tend to attack women and children. But over here, uh, you know, they see an adult human being coming up to them, they just run away. And that's what happened at the top of the crater. So. Ever since I started making noise and coming this way, I've all but kept quiet and now they are nowhere to be seen or heard. Now that we're getting so close to the end, I think I'm gonna rock and I do a little bit of running. So y'all better try to keep up. I need the shade so so bad. Ooh. Loud. Oh. Ah, that feels good. Ah. I'm gonna drink some water. And I'm gonna sleep. I'm just kidding. I have to get out of the crater. Oh my god. Is it just me? Or am I very unfit? You tell me. I have drunk so little water today. I should have carried more. Completely forgotten how long hikes in the sun feel. 
The good thing is, if you train your body, you can teach it to convert fat into water. I mean, that's false physics. Hmm. Anyway, carry water, people. Water is good for you. Getting a little late. I think I'm gonna start moving now. You know, no baboons today. Ah, hopefully there'll be baboons another day. You know, guaranteed there'll be baboons another day. I've enjoyed it. I've had a nice day finally getting outside and now I'm gonna go home and eat some chicken. Okay, no chicken. I'm gonna go home and just eat some strong, healthy African food and train hard like every day. Right? Stay hard. Stay safe. Good afternoon, people. So we're no longer in Menengai Crater. As you can see, we're actually in Nairobi in Multimedia University. And I thought, because we didn't end up seeing them baboons and I didn't get to show you those baboons, that I could take this opportunity to show you the multimedia baboons that live in a forest right here. So it's a bit late in the day, the sun is beginning to set. So I'm just going to find a good place to park the car sort of walk into this troop of baboons which for the most part are actually used to me they know me quite well and hopefully I'll get a couple good shots in there you know, just to round up the video something something interesting to watch our little primate friends oh, what do we have here we have a warthog oh, what? That is a female, and uh, oh yeah. so we got the baboons in there. So just going to park the car, then walk amongst them primates. Very good. Someone looks like he's having fun. It's one hell of an interaction. Okay, so we got a disagreement already in, in progress. Two youngsters. Two youngsters <laughs> uh, disagreeing with each other. Sometimes I can boil into the entire troop. I think I'm going to remove myself from the situation. So thank you all for tuning in and watching. I'm very happy about that as always. Please be sure to like, be sure to share, and how dare you have not subscribed. If I have to tell you to subscribe right now, please do subscribe. Thank you very much. If you want more wildlife content, more climbing, and just crazy adventures that you don't really see in the same combination anywhere else. So, thank you very much. And until next time, peace.